In this application, we've got the Acuity White Light Confocal Probe, and here you can see we've got the CL5 probe, which has a measurement span of uh, 12 millimeters, or almost half an inch. We're going out of the fiber optic cable into the CCS uh, Prima controller, and this is a LED powered uh, controller that's going to give us white light, and this white light is using a confocal chromatic technique. We'll be able to measure the top surface of this glass very accurately, and then we'll see through it and measure the inner layers of the glass. And as, as you can see on the screen, we've got two different measurements, distance one and distance two, and they're, they're, they're at the same number because I've got this probe moved up out of the way to where we're just seeing the very, the very top of the range, which is 12 millimeters, and we're seeing 11.6. So you'll see that as I start to move this down, you'll see it start to fall, and we'll soon pick up that second edge. So here you can see that edge is between 9.9 .9 and 12.8, or about 3 millimeters, approximately, of thickness of that top surface of these two glass uh, plates that are sandwiched together. So... Um, we can go in here and, and, and make this configuration change where we have an option to put an index of refraction and we can change that and glass may be closer to 1.6 and we input in there and you'll see that change happen right away. So based upon that, you know, changing the index of refraction, we can take a known sample and very accurately calculate that index of refraction. So let's go back into the measurement. So now we're seeing these two surfaces. And as I continue to go down, I'll now pick up that, that next face right there. And that should be the air gap, which is approximately 700 uh, microns, between 660 to 700 microns thick. So we're, we're picking that up really well. And you can see as we move that up and down in the range, we can make that measurement. And if we keep going, we're going to go through this glass, and it's, and it's a little noisier, but you can see we're still making that measurement of the bottom glass plate, which is about three millimeters thick. So let's, let's go ahead and bring this back up to the top. <coughs> and, and what we're going to do now is we're going to put this distance to, we're going to make it thickness. So this will, this will do the math. And as you can see, we're, we're sitting here looking at here, and, and as soon as we come to that first phase right there, there's that 3.1 millimeter thickness, or roughly 3 millimeters of thickness, of that first plate. And as you can see, as I, as I move this, you, you, you can see the blue line moving up and down, which is that front face, and the red is the thickness. So as we keep coming down, now we have... Now we're seeing that the air gap of about 700 microns, 660 to 700 microns. And as I move this, you'll see the blue come down, and that thickness is staying the same. So what that show is showing that we, we can determine where the front face is, and it doesn't matter because we're still seeing the thickness. And if we uh, move this around, you can see that we're getting thickness measurement readings on this surface very accurately almost at any point. So just a, a very quick example of how the white light confocal probe can measure the thickness of clear glass materials and, and how it's flexible enough to be able to put into uh, the index of refraction of that measurement uh, very accurately.